Uh, just a short segment on uh, making uh, an industrial track scene. Uh, this is my uh, port area, and this is basically a concrete wharf. And what many of you have done around engine houses and industrial areas is <coughs> fill in the <coughs> rail with what should, should represent uh, uh, concrete. So I've got a uh, concrete area here. And what I'm doing here with my rack is I have some, uh, cut out some uh, little bit uh, of foam to the right uh, length and stick those on the track. As we have here, so we just have the track, the track appearing. And it looks like the track's embedded in concrete, like a street scene. <coughs> in this case, a, a concrete wharf. Uh, but there's one difficulty with, uh, with uh, the Markland system that I have, is the, the, center, the center point pickups. So I'll continue on making uh, the scene, as most of you would, filling in between uh, the rails, making sure there's a room for the, for, the wheels, for the wheels to run. But now I have to do something special with uh, this system, is I'm... I'm going to have to lay a little bit of copper wiring across the top like this and I'll go down through holes in between the track and then try and mask this up as best as I can so that's the only difficulty I have with the three rail system is uh, making these uh, concrete industrial scenes uh, work uh, what I basically do here is uh, Fill up the level. Oh, let's zoom out a bit. I just fill up the level around with, with foam or whatever is available. I stick some cardboard on the top, <coughs> or some uh, basically thick thick paper, right up to the rail length, and then cut these sections of foam out to the right uh, size. And. Uh, corner bits, just cut, cut these out, stick them in like this, fill this up and then it looks, uh, should be okay in you. Two rail people are then done because all you need to do is make sure your track is clean and you can start running engines. But uh, what with the center pickup, I have to uh, put in a, uh, dummy, a dummy center rail here uh, and I'll show you what that looks like once it's completed. Um, like that so that engines can turn on. Okay, one uh, extra bit. The uh, grain elevator is nearing, uh, nearing completion. This uh, scratch build of uh, my first drug try at scratch building. <coughs> um, weathered up slightly. I still need to add some uh, filters. I'm waiting for a filter kit to arrive. I had some uh, air, air filters here and then we're about uh, we're about done. Um, this is called IGMA. IGMA is International Grain Handling Company of Amsterdam which is a real company that uh, has a bulk terminal uh, at, uh, at, the, at the port. So uh, We'll, uh, we'll be able to put this in. Uh, we'll be able to put this in service as it were uh, uh, soon. Once we've got the track laid and got to put in some roads and other activities, etc., and then we can start uh, putting the, the port. We can start putting the port area into uh, into service as it were. Coming along. Okie doke. So back at our tree, uh, tree growing process. <laughs> uh, I actually planted uh, two areas. One, one was this little uh, basket, and one was uh, the side of the house. The side of the house doesn't seem to have worked very well. I think it's too wet. The uh, 
sea foam uh, is a they say is a desert plant and needs I think needs to be quite dry so but this seems to be working out okay if we look up close I think these pointy uh, thingamies these pointy bits these pointy bits I think they're the tops of what will be our super trees I hope super trees or sea foam all these these things this is after one month of growing as it were um, I'll do another update in a month or so won't bother you uh, bore you with uh, bi-weekly updates but it seems to be growing we'll see Ah, oh, a little uh, goodie I was able to pick up off the internet at 50% off is one of these small uh, uh, tablets. This was a store model and it was only 50 euros, about $60. Uh, one of these 7 inch uh, jobs. And uh, because it's Android, it, it'll also run the, uh, the throttle function that you've, uh, you've seen before I'm um, using on the telephone. And now I've got a tablet that I can use and walk around on the layout with. Um, it of course has the, the, throttle, uh, the throttle function. So there's my, uh, my locomotive and I can just hit the speed button and send it on its way as before. Turn lights on or off, change direction, etc. Uh, but also, um, there's a plan of the layout available on the, you can see it's a little larger than on the, on the, on the telephone. And um, when you're just walking around, you need to set, set a switch. You can just click on the switch, and you'll hear, you can hear the switch. So you can see the color change, and you can hear the switch uh, operating. Uh, so this allows... It allows you to test, uh, test things and uh, so that the, uh, there are manual switches but I've got uh, uh, mainline switches here which I can operate. That's this switch there. I'm just hitting the, the screen. So uh, it's a little, uh, little goody uh, uh, to, uh, to have. And you can just uh, move the display around. Uh, and so we'll operate the system walking, walking around. It's Android, the uh, application is free, so for, for $50, $60, uh, another, another throttle. If you compare that with the uh, prices for uh, manufactured ones, uh, at $150, uh, $200 each. Um, obviously, uh, the only drawback perhaps is, is, hold, is holding it. I'm uh, going to maybe make, uh, make some uh, pouches along the layout to, uh, to, to put it in, uh, or have some sort of clip. Uh, but this is uh, good enough, certainly, for, on your own for uh, operating the layout and walking around. Uh, and checking things, so uh, nice little uh, extra gadget. <laughs> I love my gadgets. <laughs>